Hello, my name is Dragos and I will present you the main DB Schema features. When starting the application, most of the users are connecting first to an existing database. This will automatically create few layouts. Layouts are just diagrams with tools. Let's create one more layout and add few tables to it. From the menu, we can choose to show the data type or draw foreign key lines pointing to columns. DB Schema is built for large diagrams, therefore the foreign key lines are routed automatically. We can double-click tables, columns or foreign keys to edit or add comments. From the menu, we can generate HTML5 documentation. The generated documentation can be opened with any browser. The table and column comments can be read as mouse over tooltips. DB Schema is managing its own copy of the schema, separate from the database. As long as you are connected to the database, all schema changes are applied in both, the local image of the schema and the database. If you disconnect from the database, the changes will be applied only in the DB Schema model. To show you this, I will switch from the connection combo into the offline mode. This means DB Schema is no longer connected to the database. Let's create a new table. The new table is now created only in the DB Schema model. Next, I choose to compare the model schemas with the database. The new created table is missing in the database. For each difference, I can choose an action to merge in the local DB schema model or change in the database. I choose to create a new table in the database. In the SQL history, we can see the executed created table statement. If I refresh again the schema from the database, I see there are no differences. The same workflow can be used to design a schema and later deploy it on production databases. Just simply compare the model schema with each of the databases and create new tables or columns. The model schemas can be also compared with other model files. Possible different versions of the same schema and SQL migration scripts can be generated. The DB schema model is saved to file in XML format. The model file can be open next time you restart DB schema. The file can be also stored in Git and shared in a team.
DB Schema integrates a bunch of query and data tools, relational data browse, query builder, SQL editor, forms and reports, data generator, and data loader. The relational data browse is used to explore and edit data from multiple tables simultaneously. Start the editor by clicking one of the table headers and relational data browse. Then based on foreign keys between tables, we can cascade into further children tables. If the schema is missing foreign keys, we can create virtual foreign keys which will be saved to the model file. Navigating data in one of the tables will show the corresponding records in the children tables. We can set filters, add new records or edit existing records. The relational data browse will be persisted to the model file. The query builder can be used to visually create SQL queries. We can join tables based on foreign keys or virtual foreign keys. We can choose between different join types Tick the columns to select or use group by or aggregate functions. The SQL editor features text auto completion script execution, graphical explain plan, and can also execute different tasks, automation tasks, using Groovy Java. For example, for generating HTML documentation, reverse engineer the schema from the database, generate migration scripts. The Forms and Reports Designer can generate output for web with responsive bootstrap. Here we can see a panel with cells. Inside cells we can place different components like labels, tables, buttons or many other input fields. The table has a data source which is the query used to extract the data. The data source can be also Java Groovy script. On the right, we can see the generated output. Here one more example. The generated forms can be exported as standalone application which can be executed on any Tomcat server.